Hey everyone, what's up? So, I've promised you guys a room tour for a really long time. I can't believe I'm six months... Six months through my visa. That's so insane. I was thinking about it and I'm moving to Melbourne in uh, like mid-January or so, which means I should probably do a room tour now because I'll be moving out of the apartment relatively soon. So I'm not like other beauty gurus in that I am super organized or I have a special place for everything or whatever. Like I kind of do, but not really. My arm's getting tired. But I figured it was kind of a rarity to see a traveling beauty guru and not just like traveling on vacation, but actually living in a place for a year so I figured I'd show you everything that I brought with me and my mistakes and what I would do better and stuff like that so if you're like me and overpack and everything you might find this room tour useful as well as interesting okay that's it bye this is what it looks like when you're standing in front of my door <laughs> let me know if you want an apartment tour okay okay so this is my room and yes, I've been laying on my bed since I made it. I mean, I kind of make it. I took the duna, and yes, it's called the duna and not a duvet, out of my blanket because it was too hot. It's way too hot here. It's too hot! Anyway, so this is what my bookcase looks like. Now, you should know I brought too many clothes. You'll see in a little bit. So up here, we just have some, oh, uh, things, seriously, I'm just, I knock things over just all the time. This has my deodorant and you know some eye drops because I got a cut on my eye uh, a couple weeks ago. And here are some books that I've read slash borrowed from other people just because I felt like reading something. I bought, okay, I bought Haunted when I was in Sydney last and I haven't gotten a chance to read it, which sucks. Um, I'm also borrowing The Shining. Oh my goodness gracious, okay. I'm also borrowing The Shining from one of my friends. I've read The Fault in Our Stars. I've obviously read Harry Potter, but I borrowed it anyway. And um, then my best friend Jessica, who you guys have met, sent me the Death of Archie comic. This is all precariously perched. This is now falling over. I promise you, I do leave these here. They just fall over all the time. And then I have daily contacts everywhere and anywhere. I have all these clothes up and down. Oh, right here. Um... I have uh, a, a pair of sunglasses that my friend bought for me a, a really long time ago and he's really special to me and he passed away and so um, I brought this with me and I also brought his t-shirt with me so that I can um, take pictures with it um, whenever I can. And then I also brought some perfumes. I bought these ones here. This is secret code. It's supposed to be like Armani code. I brought these two here. Um, this is Jessica Simpson Fancy Love. And this is the Coco Chanel Mademoiselle perfume. This is my favorite perfume ever and I'm almost out of it. So I'm really sparing with it. And then I also have this Real Love Heat, which I have no idea what this is supposed to smell like. But... I'm a fan. It smells good. And then right in here, which is a jewel mint box, is just all my bobby pins, which is super handy. And then I have some samples right here. Down here, I just keep my camera in a bag full of just things. I really haven't touched that in a, in a really long time, and I probably should. And then this is my view. Oops. I mean, over here is kind of cool. You can see all the different, I don't know, Australian trees and things. But then it's just a building, and it's really creepy too because this curtain isn't very opaque, and so whenever I'm in here like with, you know, no clothes on or anything like that, I'm always worried that there are going to be people standing right there. I have a fan here that I stole from Tasha because she's not here right now. And then just water everywhere. In my first drawer, I have... And this is how I've organized my jewelry and everything. Um, I brought them all in bags. Oh gosh, okay. Don't fall. I have brought them all in bags that I got from Ipsy and all that. And so that's where they actually came in the most handy. Like these are all Ipsy bags, you see that? And so I've stuffed like bracelets in some and um, hair bands and others and everything. My Joseph Noguchi stuff is still in their bags just because I want to keep them in good shape. And then I have some nail polish here, you know, Penny Talk, all that kind of stuff. Which I hardly ever wear nail polish over here, I don't know why. And then some bangles and some more nail polish and all that. And then just face wipes everywhere because Lord knows you need that here. In the second drawer I have simply just cords and um, a hair dryer which I never use because it almost blows up here. And then I almost never use this either because it's just so hot and there's almost no point in doing your hair. And then over on this side I have the Book of Why um, which is a book that I'm really liking. I got it at a used bookstore. Same with Haunted. I'm really really liking it and then just my glasses and two candles that I barely ever burn and then some mints but that's not really important. And here's just underwear, socks underwear, whatever. 
And then this is where I keep all my makeup that I actually do. And I put it all here on a towel and then I sit here, hello. And then I just do my makeup. And then when you open this, up here is just a friggin' disaster. You have a blanket that I'm never ever gonna use, which sucks because it's so soft and I bought it here for like $10. And then I just have so many things. I have paperwork and visa stuff and job stuff and all that. But I need to keep everything up here just so I know to look here because it's just miscellaneous. I have a thing full of shoes right here. And I realized I should not have brought even this many any shoes because it's so impractical and I was just being a ridiculous traveler. I'm gonna be sending home a suitcase with Tasha's mom. I brought two suitcases full of things. This is Tasha's suitcase. We just stuff everything here because we brought way too much stuff. Like I will never ever travel with this many things again. It's absolutely out of control. Up here I just have jewelry and then I have more clothes. Would you look at that? So many more clothes that I don't wear when I was moving here and I was like, I'm gonna need this and I'm gonna need this and I'm gonna need this and I never wear long sleeves and I never wear pants and I'm like sweating while I'm talking to you guys too. And then I always just keep my purse on my door. This is Colette by Colette Heyman. It's really good, I got it in Sydney. And then I keep my handy dandy headphones in here all the time because I never go anywhere without my headphones. So that is it. I hope you guys really liked my room tour. Let me know what else you want to see. I'm sorry that it was brief and not really very explanatory. I have to go to work and all that. And also my friend is here and I'm doing her hair right now for her work. She has to do like 70s curls and stuff. So I'm just kind of doing this on the fly. And before my room gets messed up again because Tash is coming here and Lord knows she's gonna come in and like open all my makeup and stuff. Anyway, gotta go. I hope you guys liked it. Follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, and or Instagram at Burnett Giant. I love you guys a lot and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Let the night come before the price one. Some might run against the test. But those that try up and push the fight cause the fears that approve.